All right, guys, we're gonna take both the cars to the drag strip. This is gonna be a pretty fun experience. I haven't been to the eighth mile in years and uh, got both of them, not a long trip. Whoa, 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 whoa. The throttle response is sick. All right, so we got our tranny fixed and we're gonna see what is up with this puppy. Oh, crap, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you know we can't do this on the street, otherwise we're probably gonna get arrested, so. Oh, dude, that looks sick. Man, many thanks to uh, the PFI boys. That was freaking awesome, man. All right, let's go do this. Whew, what a drive. So we are arriving at Showtime Speedway here. It's kind of our local eighth mile track. Man, I just can't even remember the last time I've been behind that thing. That's crazy. She looks really good rolling, I must say. George, what's in the air? Power. American, American yeah. horsepower. <laughs> so, my dad had a 1956 Corvette, and it ran on like C12 gasoline, and I had no idea, okay? I think last night, the first time we went to the drag strip, like back when we were maybe like 16 years old or something, he'd been going before me, but he kind of took me along and was like, hey, let's go. Went to the drag strip, and I walk in, and I smell that race fuel. And I was like, it took me back. I had no idea the whole time. I always loved the way my dad's car smelled, but I didn't know it was the race gas. But it was freaking, you could smell the C12 in the air. It was so awesome, you know? It's one of those whole factory things that triggers your mind and all that. And George just said it as soon as he walked in. You're like, ah! It smells so good, man. The rubber! You're like, I love the smell of the burnt <laughs> rubber. So yeah, man, we got, we got my dad's car again. This thing hasn't been to the drag strip of any sort in over 20 something years. Probably like 20, 21 years or so. Maybe 20, 21 years right around that, man. But man, what a day. What a day. So the weather is really, really, really good in Florida. This is some of the best time all year round to come to Florida. We're in January, mid-January in Florida. And it is, as you can see, well, not really. <laughs> it's pretty cold, man. So I'm gonna check out the weather real quick. I use an app called Air Density Online and it tells you about the weather. So I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about how that affects what the performance of the car is like. I'm sure you guys know if you if you ever run or ran in the past or anything like that, you can go way the heck farther in cool weather than hot weather. Stanger. <laughs> Call that a burnout. Okay then. So in much cooler air, there is much more oxygen, and I'm going to show you what the air density is. And oh the verdict my gosh, is, dude. Okay. So check this out. So this is a air density online and actually comes up as sunshine drag strip. That's all I've known this track as and the last couple years it's been called showtime drag strip. So check this out. This tells us our weather. It's 54 degrees, 64% humidity. You know, there's the barometer and corrected, but we're negative 354. That means that we are in a mine shaft. We're below sea level. The air is that dense. This is what we look for if you go to like MIR and all the records are set. They're in negative DA. So 50 some odd degrees in Florida when we're at sea level to begin with is unbelievable. That's like 3,000 feet better than that thing's ever even been at the track when it ran a good time. So the mile an hour should be very, 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 very impressive, I hope. All right, man, we're ready. We got them all strapped in. Feeling pretty good. Feel like I'm not going anywhere. So let's make some magic happen.
bad she was off the rev limiter like a couple times there. I don't know if you guys could tell, but boy, like man, dude, it's got some power though. Oh my gosh, dude, that throttle response with that monoblade throttle body that my dad did. Holy crap, man. He always loved how nasty that was, just like the <laughs> man, it's so gratifying. All that torque. But she's running pretty good. Let's see, I might have to manually shift this thing. Thank you, sir. Dang. Oh, dude, we're gonna do something tonight. 7-1 at 99.2. Oh yeah, dude, on the rev limiter for that long? Dude, you gotta be kidding me, 7-1? Hell yeah. 99, dude, it, the best it's ever done is 10, like 100. We're making some power. This is killer weather. This is gonna work, man. Dude, holy crap. Dude, a 147, 60 foot, oh. I wasn't even trying, dude. Holy crap, I'm like shaking. That is so badass. Look at that. 147, 60 foot, 7-1 off the rev limiter on two gears, dude. Like, a long time. Yeah. yeah. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. Holy crap, 99.25. That is, that's like right there with the best mile an hour it's ever had, dude. So that is, Dude, I'm stoked, man. I can't believe it did that good, like, right out of the start. Uncle Sam's new tranny. Take one. We're gonna let her rip, paid her chip.
too bad at all. Thanks, sir. Oh man. 719.99.56. Not as good of a 60 foot. So I launched not as hard, but I was just a slight bit slower. I kind of missed the shifts a little bit, so I'm still gonna have to still gonna have to do some tweaking with that to try and figure it out. I don't remember. I gotta talk to a, a buddy of my dad's way back and ask him how he shifted it when he drove it. But I think he manually shifted it. I'm not so sure that's gonna work, but we're gonna try. It just doesn't want to bump, you know, the shifts right. Man, I, uh, yeah, not as hard of a 60 foot. I did, I was kind of a little frazzled with uh, trying to bump the manually shifting it, but it still just bounced off the rev limiter. I can't be sure if it did on the second, but one, two definitely did. Yeah, yeah. I hear that. Yeah. The, the two, three, I mean, it kind of, it, it does, doesn't shift. What was the 60? 157 60 foot so not as good but i was kind of you know just being soft about it i'd like to i don't know i'm just trying to finesse it so the mile an hour is strong yeah uh and that's good and repeatable but uh 719 we gotta get another pass for sure something right all over the ground. Oh my God. Dang! Woo! Wow. Sorry guys. Obviously didn't think that was gonna happen. the whole mound. There, that was yours. Yeah, yeah. Something took it off. No, there's yeah. pieces of like block and piston and stuff or rod or something down there. Uh, here we Dang. Go. That sucks. That does suck. Oopsie. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, dang. Well, I'm a little disappointed. I don't have a backup motor at the moment. <laughs> oh my God. That was brutal, man. What can we see? Oh, she's oozing in death. Oh my gosh, dude. Hey, at least it happened on the line, buddy. Yeah, yeah, no, thank God for that. That's a, holy crap, man. Well, I guess we're not going nines with this setup. <laughs> I I mean, I knew we were leaning on it pretty good, but you know. <laughs> I mean, we were like two, it was like two and a half times what stock was. It made 300 and, it made like 300 uh, horse to the tires stock. We're making 765. So, uh. it's a nice numbers though. Yeah, it was fun while it lasted. I mean, the, good until how, how many passes? <laughs> oh, geez. That's like seven pass, six passes, honestly. That sucks. Seven but I mean, dude, I punished the hell out of this thing on the street. Man. Hey, all good things come to an end, but that was. You know, thank God that that didn't happen at the eighth mile, right when I'm, you know, building up some steam. I, we were going about 108, 109. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. And I mean, we know we were pushing on it a little bit. It would have been really nice to be able to keep this short block and donate it or something. Hey, that's not the end though. That's just a small little setback. So we're going to be back. <laughs> hope, the, hope the heads and the camera are both okay for sure, man. That sucks. 
Man, a Brian Julie Stage 3, I think served us so good and I definitely wanted to say thank you so much to all of what Brian Julie has done for us. What a, man, we had such a good thing going here. We were like getting our good head of steam and all that. Mm. Hey, small setback, we will be back and we're gonna get this thing rolling again. We'll, we'll find out what happened at the bottom of this thing. Oh man, it's all smoky inside, <laughs> Uncle Sam, and it smells like engine carnage in here. It's just like, if you've ever opened up, you know, an engine, you pull the heads, you gotta get the smell of like the inside of the bottom of the bolts and the guts of it, and you're pulling the cam and all that stuff. Yeah, it smells like that with burn oil and it's nasty. It's a sad, sad day for Sam, but hey, we're gonna come back stronger than ever, so. Hopefully we'll have a Forge 6.2 in there instead of this uh, 6.0 that was kind of stretched a little thin, let's just say that. Uh, that hurts, you know, but hey, regardless of what happens, we've had some major, major steps in the right direction. This is like, dude, this is, I, I, I can't even say what this feels like. I didn't even think this car would ever see the drag strip ever again. And we're here and we're doing it. The car looks better than ever. There's so many good things going for us. I'm not gonna let that setback ruin my night or anything like that. And tonight, you know what, George? What's that? We're doing it for dad. That's right. Oh, I like we're doing that. It for dad. <laughs> so really cool to keep this car alive, man. I uh, we're working through some of the problems, and hey, man, drag racing is always about not just the problems; it's how you execute them and how you fix the problem. So we're here trying to figure this out. I'm gonna try manually shifting this thing. Hopefully, you can get it to not hit the rev limiter. And dude, we are a tenth off of the fastest this car has ever ran. And I'm a goofball that doesn't even really know this software trying to make this junk work. We're making it happen, George. We're making it happen. Lies over at the line. We're gonna go get some more footage. This will be our last run for the night. Do it for dad. That's freaking awesome. Can he throw five touchdowns? Hell yeah, he can. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. So, dude, this is awesome to build on, but we're gonna we're gonna do something. That is that's exciting. You really can't ask for it. We didn't break this. So yeah, I would be pretty heartbroken if we broke something on this too. But dude, we're gonna add to our collection of time slips. And we're gonna get that shifted figured out. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do something with that. Maybe we gotta talk to our old boy James, yeah. see what he can do with the training. Well, I'm gonna call that a very successful day. Guys, thank you so much. We had some major setbacks. Hey, such is life. We're not gonna let this get us down. The feedback we get from you guys really does inspire us to keep on doing stuff. And I mean, we're gonna make everything faster and faster. That's just what we do. So we'll be back at it. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you very soon.
happened to you? Are you...